As a matter of fact, you may have um, <clears throat> been brought up in a way like I was where, um, you know, everything has contingencies. And my life is no longer about contingencies. Now that I'm 46 years old, I remember that I was baptized into my religion when I was 13 years old. So now here I am, 33 years later, I finally broke away from something that I feel had me in bondage. Um, and I hate to say it like that, but that's what it was. I want so bad to paint an illustration for people to understand what it's like when you allow yourself to be led around and you close your eyes to everything outside. You just will not let anything outside in whatsoever because you've been taught that it is dangerous for you. Oh my gosh, there's sun out there. There's goodness out there. There's positivity out there. There's love out there. There's blessings out there. There is a richness of life out there. And I'm so glad. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. <sighs> so glad, you guys. <clears throat> Sorry. So glad that I'm that I was brave enough to see and I'm I'm grateful I'm grateful to almighty God that he has allowed me to see so that if there's anyone else who I can pave the way for that I do so because it's hard for a lot of people it's scary for a lot of people and they don't even know where to start even if they wanted to they don't know where to start. So I say to those people, you know, if you're looking for a way to start, you start within you with prayer and you ask for answers and you don't look outside of you. You look inside. I know a lot of people are like, well, what does that really mean? have to start learning how to trust your intuition which is gifted to you that's what it takes trusting yourself which is something that I was taught all my life that we cannot do we cannot trust ourselves we cannot trust our, our hearts but my life is so much different, so much better. Oh my gosh, like I could breathe. I'm so relieved, you know? And I don't like chains and restrictions and all of that. Like, I'm not that kind of person. I'm such a different person from all of that. I've never been the type of person that can just go with what I'm told because I was told. And that's the end all be all. That never made sense to me. I hope that other people can be strong enough mentally to understand who they are and what they're meant for. And you're in my prayers, you know. But mostly I just, you know, wanted to make sure that I let everybody know that you got to pull together and you have to support each other. You don't want to be jealous in any way you don't want to um wish anybody's downfall because any of those things is um you think that you're doing that to the next person but mostly you're actually doing it to yourself you know you're gagging yourself you're holding yourself back please i'm begging you enjoy your life Learn to love your life. Learn to love who you are so that you can love the next person and you, you're genuinely happy for who they are and what they have. And you want to, to give them more. You want them to have more. You want them to have abundance. I did a TikTok 
that talked about <clears throat> there's an affirmation on that TikTok that says, um, I am open and receptive to all of the abundance in the universe. And it's not just for me, but I'm also open and receptive to all of the abundance in the universe for others. Does that sound like, how does that sound? Tell me, you know, what's your reaction to that? That's hypothetical. Okay, I got cut off. But anyway, that's hypothetical, of course. But how does that sound to you? It's all about intentions, you guys. But I love you guys. And I hope this message really reached your hearts. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening.